here we go, a vlog. This time, I'm not stopping for anything. Uh, <laughs> seriously, this is the one, two, three, fourth time, fourth time actually. Phone in silent, phones in silent, uh, computer in silent because some some little man with a beard knows that I'm recording a vlog just now, so he'll probably try and beeping me on Facebook because he's like that. So. Here we go. You have my undivided attention. I have coffee. I have vapes. I have... <sighs> What's been happening? Right. Uh, I never did a vlog last week because I was being lazy. Um, very lazy. And uh, yeah, I just did a tour around the shed. And, and, and I apologise for my laziness, but uh, what can I say? Um, actually, things have changed since the last... I showed you... <laughs> I've got that mount with a tablet on it for the CCTV out the front so I can see the postie. Um, well, I went and bought a sec another second-hand tablet and, and yeah, I'm sorry. It's, um, so I've got one there as well. So I've got one there and, and one there. And, and it's great because now I can just... I've got the monitor for editing the videos and, and all the usual humdrum stuff, but that's for my YouTube and my Spotify, that just so I can have music going. He says with... That actually makes no sense. I've actually got really good speakers hooked up to the computer. I've got a turntable there and I'm not listening to music through a tablet. But it's a gadget. What other reason do you need? I'm just terrible. Right, this camera's all twisted and bent and... Oh. I nearly dropped you there. Um, right, um, vaping stuff. Shall we talk about vaping? That would be good. Uh, this week, this week I have mostly, um, I've been vaping with this. Now, if you watch the Ideal Ohm show, every Thursday night at nine o'clock, um, you will have seen it, Rick from modmaker.co.uk. Um, <laughs> That's my first plug for Rick. Um, he showed off this. Uh, now, this is from CSM, uh, Chris Scott Mods, who did the Kenzie Squonker in the past. And this is one of is four or five prototypes. Uh, so we're all in a group. Chris sent these on, so we're all testing them, giving feedback and so on. Uh, it's a Yehi SX475, I think. Single 18650 squonker, and it's look at the shape of it though. Look, it's it's all that it's it's all different angles and everything there, but it's thumb fire here, left handed squonk, and also right handed thumb fire squonk with my thumb there. It's very very comfortable in both hands and. Do you know? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to gush too much, um, or I'll try not to. Oh, the top cap. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. See the machining on that. That was done by Eddie at Darwin Mods. He's done a beautiful job on it. Um, it's got the carbon fibre plate in the bottom. It's got a really, really clever battery release system that. It has things about it that will change uh, before he, he release, does a production version. Uh, but just now, I mean, everybody's giving them feedback. Uh, but right now, it's uh, it's yeah, it's pretty damn good, pretty damn good, and I love it with the chalice on it. So, um. Will, will I be reviewing? I don't know if I will be reviewing this in this format, uh, unless Chris sends on the, the updated parts that he's going to do, and, and I will show it off. Uh, but, but hopefully this gives you an idea. And as you can see, it's it's a dinky wee thing. Um, can I? I'll gush. No, I won't. I'll keep going. Uh, right. The, the chalice, I'm really enjoying the chalice from Mark Bugs. It's it's strange. Now, I'm not a fan normally. I'm, here we go. Right. I like airflow 
where you can see the adjustment. So I can see how open or closed that is. I find with the chalice, um, it's it's a bit of a pain in the arse trying to figure out how open or closed you've got it. Um, that's my that's my main negative with it. I'm also struggling to get a. The review will be getting recorded tomorrow. I'm going to spend the rest of today mucking about with mouth to lung builds in it um, because I can. Well, you can hear. You know, I can get a nice lung hit on this. A restricted lung hit, but quite a good one. Yes. Um, but I think that, um, you know, to people that buy the Mark Bugs Chalice, um, you know, going back to the very first one, uh, that, that it had to have a mouth to lung hit there as well. It's got the flavour, but whether or not I can get a mouth to lung, I've been struggling, but you'll find out in the review. Uh, so that's that's that all out the way, that's that, that's that shown off. Uh, next, what's on the table here? Uh, oh! Now, now then, um, the, the Michael from Asvape. Uh, now, I got in contact with the guys, I sent them a video of the issue that I was having with the door. They sent me a video back saying, no, this is what your door should be like, yours is faulty. They're sending me out a new door. Go oh, hi! Um, so, uh, I will be able to do a review for this quite quickly once the new door arrives, because I think I've got to grips with the board and all the rest of it. The only thing I am going to have to do... <laughs> is I'm going to have to get the oscilloscope down and get this hooked up to it because my normal bag of tricks, it, it, I think this might be a P password modulation PWM because uh, when I hook it up to my normal bag of tricks I don't get a reading from it which um, so I'll have to check that. Uh, I'm vaping my Gillette 2. I just put a new build in it Yes, I really am going to the dark side. Um, that's a uh, 0 0.3 ohm dual coil at um, 80 watts. <laughs> you may remember me, I did reviews for um, normal gear back in the past. Uh, <laughs> I do enjoy it. I'm not going to lie, I do enjoy this, it, but only for, like, if I'm sitting chilling out in here watching a film or, you know, just fannying about, uh, it is fun to crank this up and... and just blow some silly clouds, but uh, I couldn't do that long term. I couldn't afford to vape like that. Who can afford to vape like that? I couldn't. Um, <laughs> I couldn't afford to vape that, he says, with the fucking £250 atty. Um, right, swiftly moving on. They are also sending on the Lucifer. This is the Michael. Yeah, this is the Michael, and I'm getting the Lucifer as well to review. Um, so, and you can get that from Steam Island, Rob at Steam Island. Um, he's got them in just stock just now. I think he's selling them quite well. Um, so, there's that. Next. Right. Oh. Now, see the thing here is that I recorded a vlog last week. I did record a vlog, but I kept... I, I just couldn't get into the, the groove. Uh, I kept making, mis not mistakes, but... It's just tired and grumpy and, and just... Uh, um, but what I think one thing I did talk about, and I hope I haven't, you know, repeated myself here, but uh, the Revenger, they are actually sending out another one. Yes, they are. Uh, because whilst they told me that this was going to be the exact same as the production one, lying bobags that they are, 
Um, it turns out that the, the ones that are going on sale now, uh, you can get into the menu system by just holding down plus button and the fire button, I think it is, straight into the menu system. So that addresses one of the huge negatives I had with this. Now I know Mr. Bissardo uh, will be doing a review on his, he's been posting pictures up and I'll be interested to see what he finds with the temperature control because, yeah, he's a temperature control kind of guy and he knows what he's talking about. Uh, but, so there's that. Um, I've actually not got much of anything here. Um, narcissism at its finest. Thank you very much. Uh, right. We'll show you this. Boink. Uh, the Oceanus. Um, this is a good mod. This is actually a very good... This is one of the best mods I've seen from Inikin in a long, long time. Um, and not just because the 510 is actually spring-loaded and things sit flush in it. I mean, no gap. No gap at all there. Uh, I can put my own atties on it. No gap. And the power output, I put this in my box of tricks. I'm vaping at 55 watts just now, and it is putting out 55 watts. And I think it's 110 watt, this device. Um, it does come with two uh, 2700. Um, am I saying that right? Yeah, pretty sure I am. Uh, 2700 batteries. Now, I, I'm going to say this. Now, this is a 3000 milliamp hour 30 amp battery. This is not, just because it's a 2700 battery does not mean that it's going to last forever. It's a 3000, forget everything, it's just a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So, um, it doesn't last longer than any other 3000 milliamp hour battery. For me, that's what I've found. I mean, I must admit, naive bit of a space cadet and all the rest of it, you look at it, you go, oh, it's massive. It's a big 18650, it's going to be awesome. But depending on what wattage, well, in a regulated, if you're using it in a mech, it'd be a slightly different story. But in a regulated mod, it's just 3000 milliamp hour. And I'm using the, the tie, I've got the Scion in this just now, so this is the non-TPD setup that you get. Uh, they do, in the UK, they'll do this, but it will come with the iSub, which is a good tank. I, I, I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship going on with the, the Scion, uh, but ever since I took two of them away on holiday with me. I, I do, I'm used to them now. I do quite enjoy them. Uh, don't know about the 110 watts though. Blah. Anyway. Uh, actually, here, yeah, but let's go off tangent. There's a shocker. Uh, there's a shocker. There's, there's, um, now, I just want to do a shout out to a Mr. Bill Hubbard. I'll not say why. But just a massive, massive shout out to Bill Hubbard. Um, Bill, thank you so, so much. And and I might explain why I'm saying that in another video. Um, what else? Uh, da, 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 da. There's another thing. Uh, there's a shout out to Ralph in Switzerland who has now got a hold of a skyline. Congratulations, Ralph. Uh, also, <laughs> I've got to give a shout out to... Man, Manula, Manula, Manula. Um, I'm probably saying that wrong, but I said I would. So Manula, Manula, that'll do. Um, so, hello, Ralph. Uh, and the last one I wanted to do was can't find it. I'll come back to that later. Right, next up in the shelf. Um, now, doink, doink. The compass, the compass RDA. Now, I watched uh, Mike Vapes. Uh, now, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't watch a lot of other reviewers and I've never watched any of Mike's videos before, but uh, I did watch his review for The Compass this morning. And, um, was it this morning or last night? Can't remember. And, and it was a good review. He, he kind of, kind of, yeah, I don't have to review it now. Go and watch Mike Vapes' video. It was very good. Um, 
this is from Steel Vape. Now I spoke about Teal Steel Teal Teal Vape Steel Vape before. Uh, I had the Tailspin mod and I showed that off in a couple of vlogs and it was cheap very very cheap budget mech mod with an RDTA on, to RDTA on top but it was good and I thought it worked well and for the money I thought it was an excellent buy uh, so they've sent me this on now I need another I need another mod oh pardon me more to you Vicar we've got Windy Pops um, that can go there just now and we'll pop this on here now this has got the <laughs> funny story for you, I'll tell you in a minute check that out, check the wheels on either side now that works, that actually works now I've had 22, 24 um, 27 gauge and fused Clapton flat wire in this I've absolutely no idea what any of that means but they've all been in here and just using those thumb wheels on the side has trapped the wire and it's worked perfectly every single time I, th I, th I thought it was going to be a gimmick and it would be shit but it it's actually not shit um, now I was reading the comments on Mike's video and a lot of people were going on about you know the, the insulator being in the middle there and it you know melting and whatnot uh, unless you're dry firing it at 100 watts it's not going to melt it's peak um, if you're going to vape like a fanny then yeah it'll, you'll have issues but yeah just be a grown up and you'll be fine um, other thing is now this whole assembly in the middle takes up a lot of space but you get a, a cloud cap with it that doesn't have adjustable airflow and it's got an 810 drip tip on top of it and you also get an anodized aluminium one with adjustable airflow and I'm enjoying both of them I, I really am enjoying both of them I think this is actually if I can get the top cap on come on don't be an idiot you can do it. Why is this sticking? Because I can't see what I'm doing, that's why. Right, um, I'm going to start a GoFundMe to uh, get my eyes tested. No. Right. What are we at here? 55 ohm. Oh, Christ, it's a 0 0.2 ohm. Because the post takes up so much space, it makes for quite a condensed chamber in it so the flavour is actually quite good listen I think this is going to be duck cheap and I like it I, I, I really like it now the only thing is that you can see that the, that the wheels stick out right to the side um, listen they're not making contact with anything it's not going to short out and uh, I, I wouldn't be worrying about that it's, it's made of metal it's in a fixed position it doesn't sway in the wind when you vape uh, there we go. It's really good. It is really good. Uh, so that's that's the compass. So a review will be coming for that. Uh, look at me with all the cloudy shit. Oh, whatever happened to me? Um, right. We've also got um, Metal Mickey. This came from Asmodus. Um, I've <sighs> right. This comes in different colours as well. Um, now, I, I thought I was really, really going to like this, but I'm struggling with it. I'll tell you why I'm struggling with it. The flavour's good from it, but and you can squonk with it as well if you want. Now, if you look in there. Can you see underneath the top coil there? That's you've got the, the air holes raised up. Almost like a Kennedy type of affair. See the air holes there? Now, you drip your juice in, so you've got that like little rectangle in the middle where the hole is. Uh, so you've only got the space in between the coils there and to the height of the post, the air hole, to get just you can hardly get any juice in it. It's got a really, really small reservoir in there. 
and that's what I'm str squonking with it. Normally I give a squeeze and uh, you know you saturated your cotton with this it's like half a squeeze any more than that and it just floods out of the holes at the side uh, which is a shame because I mean see it's all domed in there it's actually got quite an impressive vape from it fucking oh, Jesus another 0 0.2 ohm coil what is happening That is a good vape. That is a good vape, but it just doesn't hold a lot of liquid. And it's called the Gal Galactic, 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 Gal but it's the Bob. Calling it Bob. It's getting called Bob. And they also sent on an RTA as well, which is called the Valuna. Um, better dry that off. I've got a wee bit. Um, this is, it's nothing that's going to set your world alight. You'll find all this in this Modus website. Uh, but, it's, the only thing I don't like about it, I'm not a huge fan, is it's got just such a big bloody mouthpiece on it. Look at that. It's huge. Huge. Um, once again, a 0 0.2 ohm build. Flavour is actually at, at that wattage on a 0 0.2 ohm build, dual coil build, uh, 55 watts. I am enjoying the flavour from it, but that's the thing. Listen, I, I, I'm not the kind of guy for. I keep saying this. I'm not the best placed guy for talking about these kind of things because the amount of juice you go through in these things, I just is just. I would rather be at 25 watts on a 0 0.5 ohm build. I can get as and I know people will disagree, feel free to disagree, um, I can get just as good a vape with half the power output. That's just me. Um, I know people will disagree. Um, <laughs> can't speak of disagreeing. I was a cracker this morning, a guy left a comment on Instagram, what was it? It was the coils that I had in the, the compass. He said, if that's how you build, I think I'd rather get my opinion from my cat. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> I think he was trying to be really offensive, but it was really funny. Um, I, if you have issue with the way I build, with the way I make coils, then uh, feel free to vent because it just makes me laugh. My coils glow red in the vaporized juice. I couldn't give a flying what they look like. Um, and if you get upset about these kind of things, you're kind of sad, anyway. Ah, uh, right. What else? Do you know that's all I've actually got here right now? Um, I'll tell you what else, and and if somebody sees this, a certain person might see this and go, you sneaky so-and-so, and I apologise for this, but curiosity got the better of me. Uh, I ended up with... Uh, is this a Kylan? Yeah, it was written in the bloody thing. Idiot. A Kylan. Um, and I'd heard people talking about it. Now, I'll clean this out and it'll get given away in another raffle. Um, but... This is really good. I, I'm... You know, the, the ship sailed in this one a long time ago. You know, people have moved on to other things. Uh, but I've always wondered what it was like. And... What a great vape! This I really like this RTA and I've thoroughly enjoyed vaping it. Um, Steam Island. Uh, that's where I got it from. It was, yeah. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. Um, now, what have we got? Now I've actually got quite. A lot. <laughs> uh, I've talked about the Chalice, uh, the, the Oceanus, uh, the two Asmodus things. The Compass RDA, I've told you about the Michael mod, the Melody. Um, oh! Uh, Melody. No, the Melody mod, the Laddie Da mod. Well, he's doing a squonker. 
Uh, he's got a squonker coming out. Uh, and he's sending one on for me to show off. Uh, so that review will be coming. And, and it's... Uh -huh. Now, Kangar did... Uh, remember that steampunky type looking squonker they, they did that I just said was shit? It was, it was absolute shit. Well, they used like an atomizer bottle uh, in it. Well, he's doing the same thing, but I'm hoping because of who he is and the kind of gear that he makes, I'm sure it'll be made lovely. I'm hoping that his system works a lot better. It's a lot more, it's a better looking device, uh, but I'll have that to show off to you as well. So that's the Melody Box Low Rider that's coming as well. Uh, Lucifer Mod told you about, I've got one coming from a company, it's called the GTRS GT150. Now, I get emails from like Gearbest, Fast Tech and, and all these Chinese companies saying, yeah, take something, review it, and I normally just ignore them. Um, unless I'm feeling devious and I like winding them up. Anyway, that's another story. Um, I actually saw a mod on there that I'd never seen before, but um, that's coming and, and I'll show you that off. Um, I don't know whether I've got a hybrid RDTA coming from somebody called Zero Smoke. My pipe by uh, Mabu, M-A-B-U, um, that's coming as well. I've got something coming from uh, COV, Cloud of Vapor, the Callisto, Callisto ta uh, mod. Um, 67 mod, uh, they do 3D printed. They're sending on a mod as well. Um, I've got the Flav RDTA and RDA coming on. The MFC distribution are sending that. It's Alliance Tech that make it, but distribute it, they're sending it on. The Scorpion Mech, an RDA, from uh, a company in Taiwan. Uh, really nice looking mech. The dripper doesn't look anything amazing inside. It's quite a bog standard one, but it looks really... The mech looks gorgeous. And the last thing I've got come is... NYX Mods got in touch this morning. They're sending on a dripper as well. At a rate of three review, uh, a review every third day, that's enough to keep me going till the end of August. <laughs> Just say no, no. Um, and there'll probably be uh, there's stuff that I've got missing from my list there and and so on. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll get through it. And the thing is that, and I, and I know I get stuck for this. But what the hell, I don't really care. Um, that's actually a 50-50 mix of, of mid-range and affordable gear that's going on there. So I'm, I'm quite chuffed about that. Um, right, review-wise, what's been happening in the big bad world? Let's have a gander. Let's open up YouTube. Uh, I, had, uh, I did enjoy it. I, I love, I, I mean, Dean... The vaping biker's great. I mean, he has. Um, it's a couple of times now I've gone on for the last half hour or so on his um, his live vlog. I have great fun. I really enjoy it. I have no responsibilities. I'm just sitting there being an arsehole as normal. Uh, but it's his show. It's his vlog, and I just sit there and say silly things, much like I normally do. Uh, but I do enjoy it. Uh, I do enjoy it, and it's awfully nice of him to have me on. Um, right, videos that I've watched. Um, I watched Mr. Bissardo uh, doing his review on the, the Stackwam Squape Emotion. Thank you for the shout out. Um, hey, he pretty much nailed it. Uh, pretty much, I pretty much agree with everything he said, actually. Um, that's. Excellent, the Dean Vape Biker again got his the hitter target for the Buster raffle. That was really cool. I uh, watched Vape in V1CK do the Oceanus review. We've been watching a lot of Casey Neistat. Um, 
Uh, actually, um, once again, strangely enough, the Steel Vape Tailspin that I just mentioned, uh, Eat My BB, uh, he just did a review for that. Um, and everybody's been reviewing the Serpent SMM as well. Uh, and I'm glad that people are taken to it. It's a very good, I think it's a really good RTA. I, I, or a GTA, whatever the bloody hell you want to call it. Uh, it's a thing you vape with. Uh, I think it's a good good device. Um, Mr. Basardo's already reviewed the Oceanus as well. Uh, so if you're interested in all the graphs and all the technical aspect, go and watch his. And, and that's about it. Um, videos that... Did I do any video? I did. I did videos that... Oh, I did. Oh, there we go. Um, I did the video for the... I did a little video DIY time, okay? So, uh, I converted my Runt version 1 Squonker to a Modmaker 510. Um, I did that. I'd already converted my Bratis. Um, I'll show you that. So I'd already put uh, a Mod Maker 510 on my Bratis, so I was chuffed with that. So I did the runt as well, and I did a little video for it, um, which was fun. Uh, but I also did this as well yesterday. Uh, this is from Golden Box Mods. I've had this for a while now. I converted that to a Mod Maker 510 as well. And what a difference on this. I'm so chuffed with this because it now. It does perform better than it used to, uh, and it had stopped me using it as much in the past because I could feel there was a weaker vape from it. Then it wasn't as good as it should be, but now it's performing bang on, and I'm really chuffed with that. I really am. I think this. And Mr. Shorrock is such a nice man. Uh, I love vaping his gear. Um, what else? What else have I been up to that I could tell you about? I changed my mods round. I've, I've got them all in the one shelf now, uh, so I can see them all. So I can see them all. Listen to me. What well, I can see it. Get. Um, can you, you want to see them? You've seen them before. Let's unplug that. Come with me on a joint voyage of discovery. There you go. Boink. That's all my mods. Um. I'll have to go through them one day with you and just explain why I've kept those mods. Out of all the mods that I get, I mean that's mostly boxy, regulated or squonkers up there and, and all the mech mods are up there. Um, push the power back in. Oh there we go, we've got power again. Uh, stay, stay. I need to get a haircut. Let's get a haircut. Right. Is that it? I'm almost terrified I forget something to, to tell you guys about. Um, oh, reviews. Other reviews I did. The Haku. Oh, the Haku. Um, I polished it. I thought it came up really, really well with a polish. I do like that. Now, I, I will... I stand by what I said in my review 100%, 100%, but I just wanted to make it clear that this is, in my opinion, a very good RDA, and I have been using it a lot, even after the review, uh, and it's not got cleaned, it's not gone into a box, and it's going to get punted on, uh, I do really enjoy vaping with this. I will also add that Stephen, the guy behind this, um, I asked him if he was okay with me putting the prototype that he sent on to me up for charity. Uh, so I put it went up for auction on my Facebook page, including gift aid in the UK. Uh, we got 500, 500 pounds went to the Scottish Association for Mental Health, uh, which was amazing. It really was amazing. But uh, I do. Whilst I may not be shouting from the rooftops like a lot of other people are, um, I still think it's a very, very good atty. And I don't think anybody would, would be disappointed with it, personally. Uh, 
and I look forward to what they do with it going forward. I really, I'm looking forward to the slam cap. Um, I also, what else did I do? What else did I do? Uh, I did the Squape Emotion, did that review, and a few folk have watched that now. Um, I do like it. I, I, it's simple as that. I, like, I think it's a good, it's an expensive RTA, but it's, it is good. It does have a couple of little niggles, but I do cover them in the review. Uh, it's a strange one. It's a really strange one. I, I normally get a certain amount of views per video type thing. And so when I put a video up, I say, well, normally when I do affordable gear, nobody watches it. People moan that I don't do affordable gear, and then when I do affordable gear, nobody watches it. Um, the Vaporis RDA, which is possibly one of the best RDAs that Otofo have done in a long time, and nobody's watched it. <laughs> well, apart from my mum and my dad and whatnot, but it's quite strange. Um, the Vaporesso Revenger kit, I did record, when I recorded the vlog last week, I had a massive rant. Uh, about China sending out pre-production gear to reviewers. I just had such a rant about it. Um, review, we really, as reviewers, should not be showing off pre-production gear and calling it a final review. It's just wrong, and it's wrong for manufacturers to send stuff to reviewers and say, yes, this is what Joe Bloggs is going to get when they buy it when it's not. That's a big no-no. That really is a big no-no. Because I'm sitting here showing you stuff, you go and buy it, and it turns out that it's different to what I showed you. Um, that's so annoying. Feel So, anyway, I had a bit of a major gripe and groan at Vaporesso over that one. Um, I've given up with each cigar. Uh, feck them. Uh, sorry. Sorry if you watch this and you see this, but sod you. Um, the colour. Uh, I, I, no, I'm not going to get uh, Don't get into it. No, don't. The colour are uh, DNA 75C. Um, it's a nice mod. It's comfortable to hold. The the theme they've got is a bit shit, to be honest. But you can can you know you can install any theme you like, so that's not a problem. Uh, the the issue I had was that and now I have two of them. The first one they sent on, there was an issue with the 510, they caught that and then they sent me another one which had corrected the initial issue. Um, they're already out to suppliers but it turns out that, you know, as I, I, the mod gets hot, the battery cap gets really hot. If you're sub-ohming, I mean if you're really pushing it, then it gets really hot this mod. I mean I'm talking 10 degrees hotter. Um, which is not good and they told me one thing they stopped communicating with me I posted it on my Facebook page they started communicating with me then they stopped communicating with me and meanwhile they're still chucking these things out to vendors with the issue and I think that's shit patter I, I, it just boils my it really does not impressed um, so sorry each cigar but you suck balls um, and there was one more, there was another device I was going to have a gripe about. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay, so that's the two more Chinese companies that aren't... So I have a list as long as your arm of people that don't send me gear anymore because I just upset them. But, <sighs> have to be honest. Have to be honest. Every single time. Uh, anyway, this is a bit serious and boring. Uh, and the rest of it you already know about, the Watofo Serpent SMM RTA, I think they did an excellent job and uh, it's made it to the stand so it's being used regularly. I did get rid of a lot of gear from here. Um, I got rid of a few drippers and a few tanks, I tried to thin the herd out a little bit so I've kept it to things that I like to vape with. Um, it's quite hard sometimes because sometimes you get sent gear that's like it's a it's serial number number one, it's a prototype, um, it's expensive and all this kind of stuff. But then sometimes you just it's not necessarily my thing, 
so it goes, it goes. And somebody usually gets a either a freebie or a bargain or yeah, that's it. Um now that's all I've got for you. I can't tell you anything else, I've not been watching anything, have I? No, not been watching anything. I actually have. Um what's the India. India. Quite this thing for India. Now I know John yeah, John Martin's going to India on holiday soon. Um I, I <laughs> this is a long uh, I'll not bore you to death. This has nothing to do with vaping. Um I I would love to go on holiday to somewhere like India where to me it just looks like total chaos and pandemonium. And I, I because of the state of my head, my mental health and all that, I like structure and so on. But I love I would love to go to these places one day, but this just terrifies me. Uh, watched um, Canal Journeys, Priscilla, Priscilla Scales and her husband. They were in India for a two-part thing. Now Joanna Lumley's doing an India thing. And it just it looks amazing. Amazing. It really does. Beautiful, beautiful country. Um, and that's all we've been watching. Uh, Films, not watched any decent films. Watch Wonder Woman. Meh, thought that was meh, pretty mediocre. Um saw Alien Covenant came on came on Cody. Um watched that, fell asleep halfway through it. <laughs> it didn't get any better than when I saw it at the pictures, but there you go. And that's it. I'm gonna go because I'm just I'm boring you to death. Um Nothing else to tell you. You know the drill. At this point, we say thank you for watching as always. I hope you have an excellent weekend. And um, of course, the school holidays have started in the UK now, so a lot of you will be going on holiday. Have a tremendous time whenever you decide to go. Vape Fest in Shrewsbury is very, very soon. Um, it's in August. I think it's the first weekend in August. Cannot wait, really looking forward to it. Um, then after that, it's off to Paris for Vape Expo in Paris. Possibly going to Vape Expo in Barcelona as well. Um, I really want to go to Barcelona. Um, I'd really like to go to Barcelona. So I think I might just go over for one day for the show. Uh, Karen will come with me, but we'll have a holiday off the back of it as well still to decide and that's it right fare you well have a lovely weekend i'm going to push the red button catch you later bye guys <laughs>